Tokyo Imperial University, March 1924. Professor Hantaro Nagaoka directs 150,000 volts of electricity at a mercury isotope under a dielectric layer of paraffin oil for four hours. The purpose, to strike out a hydrogen proton from the nucleus of the mercury and produce a new element. Gold. The experiment is a success. Professor Nagaoka has solved the mystery that has eluded scientists for centuries. The mystery of the Philosopher's Stone. By the time of Professor Nagaoka's experiment in 1924, most of the scientific community had declared the process of producing gold from another metal impossible. But that quickly changed once they knew where to look. We have the ability finally to essentially manufacture gold from other elements. We put mercury into one of these tubes and mercury has a minor isotope of 0.15%, mercury 196 it's called, and that isotope will actually pick up a neutron and in about 23 hours turn into gold. After 24 hours, the experiment has been a success and yields gold. A real-life philosopher's stone at work in the basement of a university building. But while modern-day alchemy is considered far too inefficient to create vast new caches of gold, a much greater technology than our own may have been at work thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt. Egypt had probably the best supply of gold anywhere in the ancient world. And we find that in some of the letters which survived between the kings of Babylon, Assyria, and others, and Egypt, a lot of them are begging letters, basically saying to the, the, the Egyptian king, you know, oh my brother the pharaoh, please send me gold, lots of gold, because gold is as dust in the land of my brother the pharaoh. But just how did gold come to be so much more abundant in ancient Egypt than in neighboring lands? It is entirely possible that the Egyptians were capable of actually manufacturing gold and may have received otherworldly help to do so. If alchemical transmutations can be performed in a modest facility like the one at the University of California, Irvine, what might be possible with a larger reactor. A reactor, perhaps, the size of the Great Pyramid at Giza. The Giza Pyramid is, is some kind of giant machine and that some kind of chemical reaction was taking place inside the pyramid. It's possible that the Giza Pyramid was actually being used to transmute other elements into gold. Looking into the blueprints of the internal arrangement of passageways, chambers, and shafts, the appearance of it to me did not resemble anything that would be used as a tomb. The precision with which it was built, the precision of the stones, it was built like a machine, perhaps it functioned like a machine. Could it be that the Great Pyramid was the original Philosopher's Stone. If so, how could an ancient civilization have constructed the equivalent of a nuclear reactor?